What's up, people? Happy Wednesday to you. It's August 1st. I'm on my way to HHP. If you remember, two months ago, they installed a Pro Charger D1X for me on my 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. That was it. They didn't do anything else. All they did was put the Pro Charger on it. We have stock internals. This is not a built motor. And we are running minimal boost. We're only doing a, a moderate boost. We put down 6.39 pounds of boost and we made 600 horsepower on their rear wheel drive dyno jet. Our torque was around 523. So today, two months later, I'm on my way back down. I should have had this done when I was there the first time, but you know what? Thought about it and now I'm gonna do it. Spend a couple extra bucks here. I want it tuned specifically for the track. I want to put some MS-109 in the tank, and I want to bump up the timing a little bit. We're not gonna swap out pulleys. We're not gonna be changing the boost. All we're going to be doing is uh, bumping up that timing just to get a little bit more, just a little bit more out of it. So when I do go to the track, I can put that tune in and, you know, run that. And after that, after I do a couple of passes and get my time slip to see what this runs, that's it next owner of the vehicle can uh, run that tune. I'm not going to run it anymore. I don't take my vehicle to the track as is. And um, this is just for the fall. You know, to Echo Raceway, New Jersey. Get it done. And that's it. And then I'll tell you what we did. Um, high 12s. No, definitely better not be high 12s. We ran 12.9 stock. Low 12s, high 11s, mid 11s. Who knows? I'll be happy with any improvement to be honest with you I'm not trying to set any records so like I said we're about 20 minutes out as long as traffic cooperates and when I pull into the shop I'll start this back up All right, so the Jeep is getting ready to go up on the dyno. Um, they're gonna pump out the 93 octane that I currently have in there, because I couldn't burn it off. So once they get that pumped out, Josh and the guys will put in some MS-109, and then they'll start tuning it and getting it ready, okay? All right, what they're doing now is they're getting ready to drain the 93 octane that I have in here right now. So he's got it set right up to start filling up in these cans. They've got to get the half a tank of 93 out before we can put the MS-109 in. Everything's finished. Um, they're just wrapping up, reconnecting the front drive shaft, and show you the top here. See that? Final max horsepower was 646.12, and the max torque was 544.47. Wow. Blew away my expectations uh, again. I didn't think it would go that high. That's awesome. So we're all wrapped up. They're gonna get 
uh, everything finished for me over here, and then I'll be heading home, and I'll talk a little bit more about being down here today. All right? Be right back. All right, people. I'm on my way home from HHP. It's been a long day. It's 5.30. I'm still not home yet. But I want to recap and tell you what our power numbers were. Okay? So... First, just let me tell you what we did before when I came back down here two months ago for our you know, installation with the Pro Charger D1X and also uh, what our initial, our 93 octane, our daily driver tune is. So that was 6.39 pounds of boost and we made 596.23 horsepower at the rear wheels. Uh, they don't have an all-wheel drive dyno, they have a rear-wheel drive dyno so you can compare it to rear-wheel drive cars. Uh, our torque was around 523. So today, we, we drained the vehicle. We got all the, uh, you know, the 93 octane out. It was about a half a tank, and it took a while because I couldn't burn it off. And then we put five gallons of MS-109 in there. It's 103 octane race gas. Uh, Josh got it up on the dyno. We ran into a couple problems, like you saw with the uh, stupid... Diablo Sport Trinity 2, the dang thing, we were trying to update it and it just kept crashing and it wouldn't update. After three hours, we finally got it updated and fixed. Everything is good to go. We got both of my tunes on there. So when we all said and done on our fourth run of the day, our last and final run, we put down 646.12 horsepower at the rear wheels and our max torque was 544.47. Now the boost actually dropped. Our boost level went down to 6.28. 6.28. Uh, all we did is was adjust the timing. Josh moved the timing that was locked in and set at 10. Uh, and he actually um, like put a security lock on it so it wouldn't go over there. But he moved that up to 16 with with the ex extra timing you get with the uh, race gas. You know, it was real safe to move it up. And that's what we're going to run when we go to the track. I'll run the vehicle down to almost empty. I'll fill it up about half a tank with MS-109, maybe a quarter to a half a tank with MS-109. And then we'll do our passes. Whatever I run, I run. Whatever it is, I'll be happy. It'll, it'll be more than what I'm running now. And uh, I'm not going out there to prove a point. I'm not going out there to beat track hawks and, you know, I'm going to... No, none of that crap. Uh, I'm just boosting my vehicle. Uh, it's a fairly new vehicle. I didn't want to sell it or trade it in. And um, I wanted to show people that you can do it on a 6.4, even though you know it's got a, a history of problems in the past when they were tuning these. That's not the case anymore. Uh, even the, you know, so when you hear horror stories, find out who tuned it. Find out what happened before you go. No, oh, it's the 6.4. Um, they will handle moderate boost. They will handle six pounds of boost. Uh, Josh will take them all the way up to eight. And he says eight is the max cutoff for safety as far as after that. Once you start approaching eight, then things can get squirrely. Um, and I believe him. Uh, he's got a hell of a track record, and these guys know what they're doing. They only work on Hemis. I saw the world's fastest uh, challenger or was it a charger? I can't remember. Check out this quick little video that I shot of the front end of it. One of the joys of coming to HHP, you get to see monsters like this. Look at this thing. That is just insane. Right? Holy crap. You see how big that Pro Charger was? It's pretty badass. That thing runs six seconds. It's not the fastest car in the world, but that thing runs six seconds. That's just awesome. Um, like I said, it was a long day, and all, all they did was move the timing. So if you have any questions uh, about any of this, I'm just regurgitating what I heard from them. I would suggest that you reach out to Josh down at HHP if you have any questions. If you want to do this, how much it's going to cost you, call them. Tell them what year your vehicle is, what you want to do. If you want to do any specific upgrades, like I upgraded the uh, I went with the race intercooler. I wanted a cooler charge. Um, I, I would suggest to anyone else to do that also. I went with the D1X because Pro Charger claims that the D1X puts out 30 to 40 more horsepower per pound of boost over the D1SC. Though I 
have any facts to back that up. I'm just going off of what they say. I don't. Uh, but I'm sure if you do some Google research, you can find it. Congratulations to Jonathan for winning our 50 bucks today for guessing the horsepower without going over. He guessed 645. Um, and I checked both the, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, the YouTube channel and our Facebook group before I made the decision to call it, you know, for this guy. So I'm going to be emailing him, well, PayPaling him his 50 bucks in a little bit. As you can tell, I'm not as loud as I normally am. It's because I'm beat. I got an hour sleep this morning. I wouldn't even call it sleep. It was more like a quick little nap. I closed my eyes. I woke right back up. And then I've been down there all day. It's 5.30. I'm tired. I'm not even hungry because this stuff will suppress your appetite while simultaneously giving you the shits. Go figure. Um... I don't think I've ever told people that, that Red Bull makes you crap. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So, without droning on and having half the internet cry because everyone's sensitive nowadays, I'm sure I'm going to get some, uh, the, the usual Facebook experts chiming in. You know, the, well, you're going to blow something up. <laughs> okay. So what? I got the money to buy another one. Why are you worried about what I'm going to do? Uh, I really don't like those people. Uh, or they're just, just saying, yeah, just say your ass on out of here. Uh, then you're going to have the people who are like, oh, that's rear wheel dino jet. That's not honest. Should be all wheel drive. Who gives a shit? God, you people are annoying. Whenever, you know who you are, the ones that are like, but it should be on and off. What sort of all wheel dino jet numbers? Who cares? Honestly, I don't care. You care, really? All right, figure it out. You can use math. I think it's like nine times uh, 646 by 9%. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> uh, you know, I should be the one that cares the most, right? My vehicle, but I don't. Uh, what else? Um, Uh-oh. Maybe this is why what's causing the uh, traffic. Where is this guy going? I hope he's going on the shoulders. I, I'm in traffic. I definitely wasn't speeding. Promise. Who's that guy? Look at me dropping dimes. Uh, Alright, so any questions, hit them, hit me below. Uh, I ask, I don't like to always ask for subscribers, but I'll tell you why. When you subscribe and you help contribute to this channel, I give back every month. I just gave away $300 a couple days ago. I just gave, I'm giving away $50 today. I give back to the people that support me, who follow me. Uh, if you want to be in the know, subscribe. Watch the video. Put it on in the background. Listen to my annoying voice. Look, and see, it's dark right now. You don't even have to really see my face. How awesome is that? You know, if I had a, a filter for my voice, you'd really be making out, wouldn't you, people? So, you can... Uh, Watch the videos, and in August, I will drop, probably when I'm on vacation, I'll drop a hint as to when to, is it, is it really lost? Oh my God, we better, we better call somebody. Um, I will hint somewhere along the lines during a video of how to enter to win cash. All right, so that's all I have. If anyone has any questions, you know where to go. All right, be safe. I'm out.